Hello, I'm Anne-Marie McLaren. I'm a foot specialist on a wound team in Toronto, Ontario. I'd like to demonstrate how to perform an ankle brachial index using the ankle pressure divided by the brachial pressure. To perform an ankle brachial index, you will need a handheld Doppler, ultrasound gel, and a manual blood pressure cuff. So the next thing is that you actually want to make sure that your patient is lying comfortably and relaxed for about 10 minutes to stabilize their blood pressure. It's also important to remind your patient not to speak while you're doing the test. You apply the blood pressure cuff to the patient's arm taking care that you leave enough space so that you can still access your brachial artery. Touch the brachial artery here. And then using your handheld Doppler, we're going to listen for the brachial pulse and its signal. You can clearly hear the brachial artery signal. So now what we want to do is we want to inflate the blood pressure cuff to eliminate the signal. And then we want to gently deflate the blood pressure cuff until we can hear the signal. And you notice we notice the signal around 100. The return of the signal is the brachial measure or the denominator for the ankle brachial index. We would complete the process on the other arm and we would compare the left and right. We would choose the highest measure to be the denominator for our ankle brachial index calculation. Now we're going to use and measure our ankle index by locating the pulses in the lower limb. In particular, we're going to be looking for the dorsalis pedis pulse, which is located on the dorsum of the foot, and the posterior tibial pulse, which is located just behind the medial malleolus. So I've located the dorsalis pedis pulse on the dorsum of the foot. And I can also feel the posterior tibial pulse, which is located just behind the medial malleolus. And I'm going to repeat the procedure by applying the blood pressure cuff. And we're going to again look for the pulse signals using the handheld Doppler to acquire our ankle pressure measurements. So first off, I'm going to apply the blood pressure cuff to the ankle. Now we're going to apply some ultrasonic gel to the dorsalis pedis pulse. Then we're going to use our handheld Doppler to locate the dorsalis pedis signal. Got a nice strong signal here. Now we're going to repeat like what we did in the arm with the foot. We're going to inflate the blood pressure cuff until we no longer hear a signal. We're going to gradually decrease the pressure until we hear a return signal. We can see it returned at 100. Now that we've located the posterior tibial artery, we're going to apply a small amount of ultrasound gel. Using a handheld Doppler, we're going to locate the posterior tibial pulse and its signal. 
Now that we have located the posterior tibial signal, we're going to inflate our blood pressure cuff until we no longer can hear the signal. And then we're going to gradually release the blood pressure cuff until the signal returns. And again, we saw that at 100. Now we're going to repeat this on the other ankle. We're going to again measure the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibial measure. We're going to take the highest measure and use that as our numerator for our calculation of the ankle brachial index.